going on guys, Zerbin here, backing up with another video review, and today, oh wait, where's he at? Let me drop this a little lower, nope, you still can't see him, let's get rid of the stand, there it is, okay, sorry guys, <clears throat> I had to get my camera off the stand, anyway, so today we're going to be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series R2-D2 40th Anniversary Edition, so this is actually a re-release, I do not have the original, because that guy goes for a lot of money and I skipped out on him, for some reason, but um, I'm very happy to have found him. I found him along with Princess Leia. I've already done a review over Princess Leia, but I was very happy to find R2. You know, it, I I truly feel like a Star Wars collection is not fully completed unless you have R2. Um, so yes, I have R2D2 going on here. A very simple figure. Um, it's a very small figure as well. I I really did not, to be honest, I really didn't feel comfortable paying twenty dollars for R2 here. Um, however, it's better than paying freaking $200 on eBay for the original one. So yeah, re-release version is cool. It makes me feel better about buying the, um, the figure. So it's a, this figure, um, it's very simple, very small, but does have a lot of cool features along with it. Something that I wish Hasbro would do more often with their figures. Um, anyway, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna look at the packaging, very different packaging, same thing with Princess Leia. And um, we're going to come back at R2, take a look at his accessories, take a look at what he has to offer us as collectors. And then we're going to, you know, do articulation and whatnot and, you know, the same old, same old. We're, we'll do it from there. Anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at that awesome packaging. So here's the packaging for R2. And as you can see, I still have most of the accessories in there. reason why is because I really don't bother taking them out. If, if I'm not going to use them for the figure, I don't really take them out. I take them out to look, yeah, but I must leave them in there. Anyway, here we have the packaging. Um, you got that classic Kenner packaging that we got way back in, what, the 70s, 80s? I don't know, I wasn't born yet. And then, um, we got, um, it says Star Wars all around there. You get that classic, classic picture of Luke and Leia right there. Really cool. It says R2-D2. 40 year anniversary. It's not a sticker, it's just printed on there, but that's really, really cool. And then, um, it's a very thick packaging because R2 is very thick. Um, on the back, you got nothing on the side, of course, because it's like one of those classic, um basic packaging um and on the back you got all the other figures in the wave you have han solo luke skywalker princess leia obi-wan kenobi r2d2 a death squad a commander darth vader the sand people or the tuscan raiders and then you have c3po jawa a stormtrooper and chewbacca um i wish i would have i wish i would have collected all of them i uh, probably still can maybe i can find them on ebay or something sorry it's not focused I wish I would have collected all of them, but I really only collected the ones that I that were really hard to find, at least for me, or the ones that I had trouble finding. For instance, R2, he goes for a lot of money, the original one, and then I got Princess Leia because you know at the time it was she was brand new, and especially since Carrie Fisher passed away. So anyway, yeah, there you have the packaging. Uh, comparing it next to a more classic packaging, I guess the original packaging. Here we have uh, Luke Skywalker's, um, the from the Last Jedi. Uh, it's very different, very smaller, I guess. And then comparing it next to the only other packaging I have, because the only two I picked up is Leia and R2. Here's Leia's right here. Uh, as you can see, hers is bigger because it's a bigger figure. R2 is smaller. Um, but yeah, really cool. Fits fits pretty well. I like it, though. I, look, I like how classic it looks, you know? They get a picture from the movie instead of just doing a little 3D printing thing, whatever they do over here with this. I like this. I still like this. But I love this even more. Anyway, let's have a look at the figure. So here's R2-D2. R2-D2 is a very, very complicated looking figure to put together, man. I cannot imagine what they went through over at Hasbro. But um, he's got the blue up there, of course. He's an astromech um, droid. And then you have, um, you know, you have his, his eye right there. He has one eye. You have R2's little, I guess, squares going on here, rectangles. So yeah. Um, so Arch is pretty basic actually. He's really, he's really small. Um, so like you can really carry him around. I guess you can put him in your pocket if you wanted to. <clears throat> you have R2's legs, I guess you could say over here. This actually looks like something from space. I'm not gonna lie. George Lucas, he actually created something that looks like it would be from space. It looks like something NASA would shoot up and in, in, into into the moon or something, you know, like a drone. And then you have um, his wires going on here. These, these parts are removable, I'll show you here in a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, really cool. I, re I really don't know how to explain any of this because I'm not, what do you call it? I really don't know every bit and feature, bits and features that R2 has. Um, I like how, how it's shiny right here on, on the dome. It's, it's really hollow up here though. I, re I really wish it wasn't, but there's a reason why it's hollow. Um, so anyway, let me zoom out here. So anyway, in terms of accessories, what R2 has, R2 comes with uh, many things that you can put on top of his head, I guess you can say, his dome. He comes with this piece right here, and I forget what this is called, I guess it's like it's an, it's an extended eyepiece. Um, we see this whenever he fall, whenever they land on Dagobah to go find um, Yoda, and he falls inside the, um, the swamp, and then Luke's like, um, you know, he's yelling out R2's name. So... Um, and then R2 pops out this little eye and he, you know, it turns out that he's fine. He's, he's okay. So really how you do that, you take, you, you go ahead and take this piece off. I already did that. Well, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. You take this piece off of R2 right here. You take this little piece off and then you go ahead and put this piece in there. So yeah, we'll end up looking something like this. So it'll look like, it, it, like it's supposed to be extended out. So yeah, something like that. So, yeah, excuse my puppy back there crying. We just got a new puppy. But, yeah, you have um, you have a little extended eyepiece popping out there, which is really cool. And then, really, you have three pieces that come out from the top of his dome here. You have the piece I just shown. You don't want to lose these pieces either. So you have that piece. You have this piece. And then you have that piece. And they're each used for set for different parts. Um, so... The way you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but each holes are bigger. This is, this is like, this is the smallest one right here. This is the medium one, and that's the biggest one. So the way you would do it, you would get this piece right here, and you would put this right here. And then, of course, I already showed you this piece. So you're probably asking yourself, like, what what's the, um, actually, what, what this piece right here, this piece would be like his little sonar equipment, I guess. What, what is this? This would be like his communication device. Sorry, it's having trouble focusing here. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Sorry. So this right here is actually a piece that he uses like to communicate and like search for like a signal or something. And that's, that, that would go right here. And you're probably wondering to yourself, well, Ruben, what's the other piece for? You know, what, what else does R2 have? Well... <clears throat> he comes with Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from Episode Six, the green one, um, the one he constructed by himself. And um, this is actually really awesome, man. I was really looking forward to getting this. However, I really wish it would have came with the lightsaber piece. And th as you can see, it doesn't have a hole. So I guess if you wanted to, the only way you could get a green lightsaber would be from Kai Kwan Jin. Um, and then I guess you can put like a little hole in there and make your own lightsaber. Reason why I'm so excited about this because the episode six version of Luke Skywalker is really expensive, dude. Like he goes for a lot of money. I found a I found one at Comic Con when I went, and it, I think that guy goes for a lot of money. So yeah, but yeah, you're able to put Luke's lightsaber inside here to make it look like like he's about to shoot it out, like like that scene with when they were trying to escape from Jabba. So you know that that's actually that actually looks really cool, really cool. So yeah. Pretty basic right there. Um, then you just want to put each piece back on R2's head there. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. So the other accessories that R2 does come with are his little jets right here. And they're meant to look like they, like they came out of his, of right there, you know, it's like it's, like it's extended. So the way you want to do that, you want to pop these pieces right off, like so. And then put these pieces in. Just peg them in. There's like two little pegs right there. And let's see here. Am I doing that right? There it is. There it is. Not bad. So yeah, it looks like there's like a little jet right there. And then take this piece out too. And I don't think I may be wrong, but I don't think we've seen this in the original trilogy. I think we I know we saw it in the prequels, like when on episode two when, with the droid army, he was like flying out, flying away, trying to help 3PO. Um, when they were in the George factory, but um, 
I don't remember seeing this in the original in the original trilogy. I don't remember seeing. I, we've seen it many times in the Clone Wars, but I really love how they just uh, included these right here. That that's really cool. You know, he's got jets. Sometimes I forget Arctic and Fly. Um, so yeah, and then you just want to pop those pieces off and put that right back on, like so. Um, he comes with a lot of features, dude. The other feature is right here on the sides. Take this out. And then he does come with like this little claw looking piece. I guess to like fix ships. And then he also does come with this other piece. I, I want to say this is like his the piece that he uses to shock people. Because I know he can shock, he can taste. But yeah, I, I think that's really cool too. So he comes with two of those hidden gadgets right there in his chest. And then just you just want to close this back up. Another cool thing he comes with. I remember when I was younger, there was another R2 figure I had, and then that R2 figure, he came with an extra leg that you put down here, his third leg. He uses it to, like, you know, to move. Whenever he's just standing up, he uses this. Whenever he gets excited, he goes like this, you know. But uh, whenever he, like, drives, whenever he moves, he doesn't move with two, he moves with three. So, what 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 is really cool, this one is different. You move his head... The other way right here and then the the third leg slowly comes out from the bottom which is really cool and um so the way you want to do that the the pieces right here are articulated so just pull those back and then bend it same thing with that one and then you want to bend this third leg too like this and then there you have r2 yeah so i, I just think that's an amazing feature guys and then, um, if you want to pull it back up, very simple, just twist the head again, and that's how it looks like on the inside. But I have him posed like this. I have him posed right next to 3PO, his best friend. So yeah, really cool. So that's R2. Um, I guess we can go over articulation real quick. So for articulation, R2's head does move 360 like I mentioned earlier. However, whenever it's in that position, whenever the leg is fully out, he cannot move his head that way anymore, like this way. Um, so, because it's already extended out, um, he can only move it that side. But it is 360, I guess, whenever you're moving the leg out. And then his his um, arms, I guess, arms or legs, go all the way around. Same thing with the other one. Uh, his feet pivot a little bit like that. And then this third leg pivots a little bit like that. But that's basically good for his articulation, guys. So size comparison, here's R2 next to Leia and Luke from episode 4. And I want to say it's, um, it is size, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just like the film. I, I want to say it's, it's exactly like the film. Um, when you look back at the film, is R2 really this small compared to Luke and Leia? I want to say so. I say so, yeah. I mean, I don't, I, if I see, I don't picture him a little smaller. I feel like he'd be weird if he was smaller and I feel like it'd be weird if he was bigger. So, yeah, you know, he looks, he looks pretty decent to me. So, fits well. And then here's R2 next to some other droids. Let me put this camera down, actually. Here's R2 next to C-3PO from Episode 7. Here he is next to BB-8. And then there he is next to that droid that came up with Tarkin, the interrogation droid. That's what I call him, is it the interrogation droid. But yeah, uh, he stands taller than BB-8, of course, bigger than the interrogation droid, and smaller than 3PO. So there you have it. So there you have R2, guys. A must-get for any Star Wars collector that wants to put him in your collection. Highly recommend it to any Star Wars collector, and really great. Anyway, Christmas was yesterday, so I guess, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Uh, I didn't upload anything on Christmas because I was busy, of course. Anyway, I have an unboxing video coming up, a very huge unboxing video, so stay tuned for that. And I have other videos coming up, other reviews for Star Wars and horror figures, too, for NECA. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, this has been Rubik's Film. Peace out.